Diana, just hours ago, Marianne Godboldo's lawyers filed this lawsuit. In it, there are heart-wrenching new allegations that her daughter's prosthetic leg was taken from her while she was in state care to keep the child from trying to get back to her mother. Just one betrayal after another. It's a lie. Bring us your children and we will help you. That's not true. Marianne Godboldo says she just wanted help when she noticed serious changes in her daughter, Ariana, after a series of vaccinations in 2009. So doctors prescribed the controversial antipsychotic drug called Risperdal for Ariana. It made Ariana terribly ill. Godboldo signed this form, which states in two different places that she could choose to have Ariana stop taking Risperdal at any time. Do you feel like that when you started questioning the system, that that's when it turned on you? Oh, absolutely. According to her lawsuit, Godboldo worked with her doctor to wean Ariana off the medication, and that's when the very people she had gone to for help reported her to Child Protective Services, or CPS. So CPS presented this petition filled with mistakes to court staff who signed off on it and issued a child removal order. The law requires that a judge review these petitions, but that never happened. CPS then used the flawed order to get Detroit police to take Ariana. Attorney David Robinson says when police first came to Godboldo's door, they didn't show her the order or a warrant. According to the lawsuit, she refused to hand over her daughter, so police used a crowbar to break in the side door. They had no authority. That's when the officer said Godboldo fired a shot. She did what any mother is supposed to do, to protect her uh, child. What happened next made international headlines. Tanks and SWAT teams surrounded the home and a 10-hour standoff began. The helicopters, the sharpshooters, that did not bother me. I was terrified that they would get my, their hands on my child and do exactly what they did. Godboldo says she surrendered only after she was promised Ariana would be placed in her aunt's care, but that didn't happen. After the standoff, Ariana was checked out at Children's Hospital. She was, by all accounts, perfectly fine. Attorney Allison Fulmar was at Children's with Ariana and her aunt. Hospital records show the aunt was escorted out of the hospital room by CPS. Fulmar says that's when the CPS worker took Ariana to the psychiatric hospital called Hawthorne Center. We were mystified as to where Ariana was. Now, if that's not kidnapping, I don't know what is. CPS case notes show Hawthorne tried several times to refuse Ariana as a patient, but CPS kept pushing and eventually got her admitted. Fulmar says at Hawthorne Center, the CPS worker immediately authorized the 13-year-old to go back on Risperdal and have the controversial HPV vaccine. Where was the order to hospitalize the child? Where was the order to medicate the child? Ariana is an amputee who has a prosthetic leg. Godboldo's attorneys say employees at Hawthorne Center removed it to stop her from trying to leave. You can't compensate for that type of psychological harm to a child. The criminal case against Godboldo was dismissed because the judge ruled that the order to take Ariana was invalid and there was no evidence Godboldo fired the gun. But this case exposed something shocking, that the juvenile court was not following the law when it came to taking kids. Tonight on 7 Action News at 11, you'll see what happens when we try to talk to the judge who allowed this to take place.